I don't hate it when people do stuff for me, that's why I like packages. And here's the list of top ones for me. Number one is Discord.js, never used it in my life. Just kidding. It's pretty popular and allows you to interact with the Discord API and create Discord bots. Next up we have Dexy.js or as I like to call it, Dixy.js. It's a way to interact with IndexedDB. Similarly and definitely not for rhyming purposes, we have Pixy.js. It's a graphics engine to render 2D elements, mostly used for gaming. And by that I mean simple games, like look at this shit. Also you can combine it with Matter.js to handle the physics for you. Because you know, and if you're into gaming so much, another one is Phaser. It's more advanced with the 2D games. Tits were unbelievable. Oh man, I love titties so. I really like using D3.js to visualize data and build highly customizable charts using SVGs. Animated 3D graphics as we know and love are mostly made with 3.js. Tell me if you want to learn this one. AG Grid is a fantastic choice to add data grids or tables to your application. It's highly customizable and interactive. Let's not forget Zod for validation. With defining schemas you can check for different kind of types. It's a way to add runtime validation, so there's no way you can escape. <laughs> Stop that shit. Formic and Yop is a good duo. Formic as you guessed handles all the forms and Yop does the validation part. Leaflet is a free version of GMAPS. The guy who made it is a musician now. This one, it's used for generating text-based diagrams for whenever you need it, probably never. Anime.js is another one that I also made a quick video on it, that's where most of you even know me. I have to mention GSAP, probably the most complete animation library with the lady. It has a steep learning curve, but once you understand it, you just can't stop watching the videos. Animate on a scroll, with just a HTML attribute you can add animations to your element as you scroll. Have a good day guys.